If you are new here and in today's video, we have a office clothes tour and review. I'm so excited about this. Can you tell like I'm cheesing hard, okay? Hard. And I have been cheesing hard ever since I, hang, I hung the freaking curtains. Like I've just been long overdue for this. To be a thing and we are here today and I want to share it with you I've gotten a lot of requests to um, see my space and I just couldn't show y'all my space in the condition that it was in last time you saw it I'm starving in order to be able to do a clothes reveal or any of any sort I knew that I had to one buckle down and by buckle down I mean get to work grow my audience hit a goal because as this was on my wish list last year but it was more of a gift gifting item to myself for reaching a goal and that goal was a thousand style girls in our community so we've surpassed that goal and as soon as we surpassed the goal i was like okay time to start getting the space together because we're full speed ahead to becoming monetized all right we're we're on a we're on a journey here come with me i needed the space to be highly functional more practical than anything it is where i house all of my clothes it is where i run the vault label it is where I edit for YouTube. Like I do a lot of things in this space. So I'm in here all the time. I needed to be free of clutter. I needed to be, like I said, functional. I also want a little bit of aesthetics. So I added that in there and I must say that I am completely happy. Like so happy. All of my clothes are in this one room with the exception of like my underwear and workout clothes. I'm thinking about moving them in here but I'm not sure yet because that's really going to take up more space. I don't, I don't know about that. So for right now I do have room to grow into the space. I do have room to add more things but along with adding more things I do want to be more mindful about what I add and what I purchase. Um, because I have this beautiful closet, I want to make sure the things that are in it are useful, beautiful, and impactful into my wardrobe and lifestyle. I know, a whole bunch of rambly rambly. Let's go ahead and get into the tour. For this first section, this is my clothing wall. There's no clothing anywhere else except for here and then one other space that I will show you. Um, I have 229s. 139 um i don't know the exact measurements but this is the 29 and 139 in the middle which is the widest unit for ikea and i knew that i wanted to hang my blazers i wanted to hang tops and i wanted to hang a little bit of pants and then my dresses everything else could be folded so that is what i went into the design center thinking about and at the forefront of my brain like i said i wanted everything to be functional so I knew that most of my things were going to be hanging and then the other half, like I knew that 50% of my things were going to be hanging and then the other half were going to be folded. I just needed to kind of like organize that in my head if that makes any sense at all. So this first section over here, I have all of my blazers and to be honest, it's kind of full because I am a blazer girl. So um, pretty much after this video, I'll probably be doing like one more small purge to really narrow down my blazers um, because I do want to start buying like retail blazers. I have a lot of thrifted blazers and if you know anything about me, if I'm going into the thrift store, there will be a blazer purchased, all right? My hangers are felt hangers, I'll show you. I wasn't gonna be a stickler for 
same hangers but then as I started looking at the the system I was like no girl you, you need the same hangers so I got these these are a steal of a deal and I like them because they are felt and they cling onto your clothes so your satin silks and slippery clothing is not slipping off the hanger love that so I got these from Walmart they come in a pack of 30 for like $10 I even saw them at a pack of 30 for $6 at one Walmart. So I will link these down below. Right below it, I have this pullout tray for my denim. It is looking a little empty because a lot of my denim is dirty. I've been wearing it. I've been wearing my denim more often. Um, so I have them just jeans on here. My slacks and everything else are in the drawers down below. I did not want to be stuck hanging everything. So in this drawer, I just have like my leggings and um, cargo pants that can be folded. Um, this drawer, I need to kind of like switch it out with the bottom drawer, but this one is like um, skirts. And right now I do have a pair of shorts in there, but when I bring my shorts out, I'll add them to the skirt drawer. Down here, I just have overflow denim and then some more trouser pants, like softer pants that can be folded. Okay, so I know this is a weird angle, but I want to show you guys everything. So this middle section, my 39 section, I call it, is the bulk of what I have for tops, cardigans, and like sets. So I combined those items into one section um, and I tried to kind of color coordinate it as best I could according to color and style. So that's how everything is pretty much organized or merchandised. So I have all my white, you know, button ups, cream sweaters, it goes to browns, to greens. And as we get further to this side, I have like my sleeper sets, my two piece sets short sets um, on the end and I think that that is a great use of space because the sets don't really need their own section I was confused um, I didn't really know what to do with the top shelf area but I knew that I wanted to have enough storage space so for right now I do have like my Baker boy hats at the top and I have um, like boxes like my Chanel box that I don't want to get rid of. Um, I have like a shoe box up there. And then inside of those boxes is like all the dust bags that my um, items come with. I do like to use those for travel and occasionally for like gifting things that don't have a package. This section over here is the last 29 section on the clothing wall. And it's a little willy nilly if you ask me. It's not really the most pleasing to the eye. But like I said, I needed functionality and storage. So that's this is this is what we have <laughs> so it holds all of my dresses and then it holds the skirts longer skirts that I kind of don't want to fold like I have this um, you guys have seen this before I have like this tiered hanger for hanging bottoms and I choose to hang like my longer skirts on it like this skirt is a leather midi skirt and I don't want to fold it because if you fold like suede leather it gets the lines in there and I don't want to like ruin it so I'm hanging it with the dresses just on the end over here I only have two of two of those hangers so they're really like discreet they don't take up a lot of space um so I just leave them there and then I have my dresses I tried to like put those in color order but girl it, I, I'm not about to stress it. I'm not about to stress it. Like my express layering bodysuits, I have them hanging there, but eventually they'll be moved to a drawer because they really don't, they really don't need to be hung. Um, so yes, that's what this section is. I totally skipped out on my accessories drawer. Um, my pullout tray for my accessories. Over here, I have sunglasses. In the last vlog, you guys saw me put together um, or put this together or fill it up or whatever and then over here I have some jewelry and then more jewelry on that side it kind of like just flows these are not the Ikea inserts because I feel like the Ikea inserts were not for me um, I have way too much too many like small accessories for this tray here I have 
laid out a few of my favorite accessories. You guys know I'm an accessories girl, so I do have a lot of accessories. I love accessories. Just, just like, you know, fun bits and bobs. That's me. So I laid out like my headbands. I recently purchased um, some rosette pieces that I really love. Um, so I have those laying out. These are accessories that I reach for quite often. Like you guys have seen this beaded top. I wanted to make them more accessible. They don't have any trays to like hold them, but they are laid out kind of like boutique style and it works for now. Eventually I'll get some kind of organization for them, but for now it's perfect. Welcome to my favorite part of this cloth is my favorite wall is my bag and shoe wall mixed with a little fragrance. They needed their own moment. Like my bags and shoes needed their own moment. When I started thinking about the design of my packs, I knew that I needed a separate space for my bags and shoes, and this is it. I took a lot of inspiration from Hilo Lux because I like that her closet is very functional. It's highly functional, and it does what it needs to do. It holds everything in its place. It's just, it's perfect in my opinion. So I took a lot of inspiration from her pack system when it comes to like, the wall, I mean the, the accessories, the shoe and bag wall. I added a space for my fragrances because I have a lot of fragrances and I wanted to keep them in my clothes because when I get dressed, my topper is my fragrance. Lip gloss and my fragrance. So I needed to have all of that in this one space. Um, These are three 29 inch units. They are not the deepest one. They're the ones that go only 13 inches deep. So not as deep as my clothing wall but deep enough to hold two rows of accessories, um, two rows of bags. I do have my shoes at the bottom, and what I love about, I, th I know I said this already, but what I love about it is that when I get more shoes, I can just like bump my bag shelves up, you know, up a bit. All I have to do is like rearrange a little bit and it can fit more items. So right now, I don't have a ton, but I have enough. So I kind of designed it to fit all of my things. These will fit like four across, four shoes across. The boots at the bottom, oh, they're so, like it's just so organized and I absolutely love it. So now when I want something, I can just go and grab it. You guys also saw in the last vlog that I have these boot shapers inside of my boots. I got these off Amazon. I'll link everything down below, but that's how I'm getting the boots to stand up straight and not flop over. I'm really excited about my space. Um, I'm also excited about my fragrance section because now I can see all of my things um, tiered so I can see the names of all my perfumes. It just makes life really easy. I know nobody acts, but I'm going to tell you anyways, my favorite perfume in my collection is Boys Imperial. I did a video on this perfume um, a few months back, I think when it turned fall. And a few of you bought this perfume. Let me know in the comments down below how you like it because this is my favorite. It is a compliment grabber. Like, it just snatches the compliments right out of people's mouths. That's what it does. And my husband recently bought me like a backup bottle, so you can't tell me nothing at all. Um, that is like my top fragrance in my collection. I know no one asked again, but my second favorite is going to be Oud for Greatness. <sighs> my husband gave this to me from his collection. I was begging for it for like months. He finally gave it to me. <sighs> Please. This next section is just like my cozy nook. Um, I'm going to purchase like a pedestal, like a footstool or whatever, so that I can kick my feet up. But I got this, my I got this for my birthday. My mom and my brother bought it for me. Um, it is from Target. I'll link it down below, but I'm pretty sure it's sold out. Um, it's just like a nice, comfy, cozy chair. This pillow I purchased from H&M Home last year sometime. Like I said, I gathered a lot of things that I already had and incorporated them into the space. But this is where I'll most likely be doing like my sit down videos. Um, just, I wanted to create little moments or vignettes in my office, cloth space, so that I can have nice backgrounds for when I'm creating content or filming or talking to my style girls. Like I just, that was at the 
forefront of my brain when I was designing the space. This next space is, I call it my office space, all right? It has my desk, my computer, this is where I edit, this is where I do a lot of work for the vault label. It's right in front of this big, like, bay kind of window. This is like my productivity station. This is where all the work gets done. I got this desk off of Target's website a while back. It's a wood black desk with a cane accent that I recently spray painted. Um, I showed you guys that in my last vlog. But um, it also houses my makeup. So I do do my makeup at this desk. I needed um, a space that was multifunctional for makeup and for work. So my only option without having to create a whole vanity was to store my makeup in here and just kind of pull it out as I do my makeup as needed. So that was the goal for this. Y'all know that I be at this desk all the time. Like I live at this desk. I needed to be functional. I will be getting a new chair sometime in the near future. But for now, this is, this is the desk. Okay, welcome to my second favorite part of my cloth This is like my inspiration slash mirror wall. I knew I wanted to have my mirror on this wall, um, but I also wanted something else to look at. So what better thing to look at or people to look at than like inspirational black women that are just bad ass. Okay, they just defy society standards of women and these are my girls, okay? And I'm so glad that I'm gang. So while I'm looking at myself, I also know that I've got my homies to the side and it's very like aesthetic, but just clean, not too much. It was kind of hard to pick who I would include in my gang gang wall, but I know that I can change it out at any time. Uh, the friends are from Walmart and I also got the pictures printed at Walmart. It was surprisingly really easy. Um, they have an app that you can add onto your phone. You can select the phone, the picture straight from your phone and you order them and then you pick them up same day, same day within an hour, like Walgreens, but I, for some reason, I don't think Walgreens had the size that I needed. This is a really weird size. I'll link everything down below. But yeah, I got them printed at Walmart. I wanted to do black and white. I didn't want to inject any more color into the room because this accessories wall and my clothes is enough color. Um, so I chose to do black and white photos. We've got Rihanna. We got a little Tiana Taylor. We have Naomi Campbell. We have Beyonce. We have a girl that I do not know. Um, I don't know her. But she just looks regal and like a goddess, an African goddess. So I included her in there. She's the screensaver on my iPad um, at the moment. I found her on Pinterest. Um, she's just beautiful to me. So I had to include her in there. She's got the uh, cowrie shells in her hair, which was an exchange of currency back in, I don't know what the days were, but in, in ancient Africa, I'll just say that Calvary shells were a form of currency like so this signifies wealth and abundance if you ask me so I had to include her on my wall and then we have Grace Jones of course the number one pusher of standards like she don't she don't want to hear what you got to say let her do what she wants to do she's just vintage I wanted to incorporate everything that I love into a wall of women that I love that I am inspired by so this was this was the inspiration for this wall. I do have my mirror, which is from Ikea. It's the Hovit mirror, which now, you guys, they make with a black frame. I wish this had a black frame, but I was not up for any more DIYs. And then we have Viola Davis, and I'll insert like a little montage. We have Viola Davis sitting over here with her L covers that I had to purchase because they are just so good. Okay, so right now I am standing in the doorway of what would be the, the closet in this room. Back when I made this into an office space, I did opt to take the door off of the hinges because I just wanted a nice flow of energy, whatever. Um, so I, I kept the door off and this is where my clothing rack hangs that I purchased to hang clothes. 
this is where it hangs and it houses all of my coats well most of them like 90% of them I, I think I have like five coats that are in my husband's closet currently but I just wanted to be able to move everything into this one room and I figured that this room would just be an extension of the closet eventually like I'll add packs systems in here as well to hold my coats and overflow of like shoes so eventually we'll get a coat packs a packs to hold the coats and more packs to hold the shoes and maybe even extra bags because that is what I buy the most of so in here currently I just have like my sneakers down here I have some loafers on the bottom of the clothing rack and then I have extra boots that don't fit onto the packs right now they just Everything is, is just stored in this space right here. Eventually, this will be an extension of the closet, but for right now, it's just an overflow room. Okay, girl, that is the entire closet. Hey, Star Girl. So, I'm editing really quick. I wanted to drop in and let you guys know that my friend Yashima, she launched or she dropped her Clawfist tour video about two weeks ago. So, I want to link her channel down below so that you can check out her Clawfist tour as well. If you're like me and you love a good Clawfist tour, trust me, you'll want to see this one. So, go ahead and head on over there after this one, after this video, and show her video some love. Bye. I'm so glad to have been able to get that out. Get this out to you guys, show what I've been working on. I know you guys missed the style videos, but I was unable to record them because, girl, I had to get the space together. So now that it's together, the style videos will commence. Y'all know those are my favorite kind of videos to make. So yes, I hope you enjoyed my Clawfist tour. And let me know what you think in the comments down below. Until next time, style girl, bye.